Hey guys and welcome back to some more of Extinction. Today it's going to be the big exciting day where I take on the King Titan with my absolutely cracked out army of dinosaurs. And people in the chat, in the in-game chat, are very excited to jump in. So I'm not going to take too much longer doing this. They've waited long enough, bless them. So for the King Titan, I need five elephant T-Rex teeth. All the more grateful I've been farming the uh, OSDs. I need 150 hearts. I need no giga hearts. We are only doing gamma for now, of course. Just a quick old, a quick little cheeky gamma. I need some Totemo Boa Venom. Oh my god, <laughs> just enough actually. Of course, see the trophy heads. And that is apparently it. That seems a bit light, but I won't complain. So I've already gotten on Frostfang and taken the army over to the King Titan platform, but I wanted to go through the old-fashioned path with my character because this is one creature I haven't actually tried yet as a breeding. And I'm really excited because characters like, again, Jawi Jira did so much damage by herself. So I'm really excited to see what this does, fully cracked out. Zero stacks, four and a half thousand damage. That is already so much more than the base character did at maximum stacks. Oh my goodness, I'm only gonna get the, and that's only going to stack higher and higher. I kind of feel like the Paleo characters may have done more damage. That could just be my imagination. I think it's because I was up against smaller targets. Oh my gosh, look at you go! Oh yeah, that was a 6k hit I just saw for a second then. I'm already out of stamina. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. Go ahead and level some movement speed into you. It's really nice having the option to level movement speed. I'm really not used to that at all. 8,000! Oh my god. Dude. I oh! That is a destroyer. Corrupted Rex. For a second I thought it was a corrupted Giga, but that is still... Oh, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? You're not know being smart. Hold on. Hold on, we're backing up. We're, we're running away for a second. All the way away. And let's get double character. There we go. In fact, oh, I was about to go get the other one. 11,000, good God. I was about to go get, uh, hold on, whistle, attack. I was about to go get my gigas. I got two either gigas on me as well. But I think I'd rather just take this guy on. What's your health? Oh, you've got 200k health. How much damage do you do? I'm kind of scared. Wait. Oh, 2k damage. But I think we had the job covered. And my other character's tanking it anyway, so this is just great. <sniffs> okay. That was dirty. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever deleted a destroyer. A destroyer Rex, for that matter. So quickly before. Okay, well that's good. That's promising. That's very, very promising. My god, there you go, maximum stacks, 15,000 damage, obviously with the make boost bonus, can't forget that. It's a very important matter. Oh, I'm stuck. I don't want to be stuck. Oh, this is great. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling real, real good. You know, I gotta say, like, while we're here, seeing this area for the first time was so, so cool. Like, just actually taking- well, well I'll have to kill this one. Take in the environment. Look at just how amazing this location looks. And seeing all this for the first time, there's nothing like it. Like the creepy, eerie, red and white terrain. All these big spiky cliffs. All the ice. I think it's ice. It feels like it anyway. It's just so barren. The plants. All of these like vines. The devs did such a spectacular job in this area. And it's cool because it also goes off the map. I remember that really blew our minds. The fact that this entire location goes like up and out of the map and it was just it felt like we were doomed to die especially seeing like all the wyverns all the gigas there used to be death worms here as well actually they removed the death worm spawns the once upon a time uh destroy death uh no <laughs> corrupt the death worms are a thing and it was just like oh. it's a shame you can't build here because unironically when you like look at it from the ground or the <laughs> the corrupted element ground it's actually really really beautiful if anything, I kind of wish the Gen 1 Swamp was more like this. The Gen 1 Swamp is beautiful. I love how open it is. But it needs areas like this. Like the canopy above. Well, it does have some canopies, actually, but... I don't know. This area just hits different, man. I wish I could build here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Like, this is an entire cave area as well. <laughs> so far, I swear, I'm just going to spend more time, like, talking about the environment than actually doing the King Titan. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. The ominous blinding light, dude. 
How cool does that look? And I'm just so excited to see this all over again in Ascended. God, I'm just so excited for Ascended. Okay, okay, here we go. One slight navigational error later, and yeah, this is the this is definitely the correct path. And the Titan console should be just right here. Yep, there it is. It feels so tiny compared to what's about to happen. Right, uh, let me just quickly... So I do have my Tech Giga army over here. Now the reason why I've gone primarily Tech, well entirely Tech Giga is because one, I've got a blueprint for them, which um, I don't have a blueprint of any of the other ones. And two, they do the most raw damage up front. Though that being said, I do want to use my Evo Gigas too because they got such high health. They're not likely to get killed very quickly. And if they rage, not the character, if they rage, that'd be good too. I still have the breeders, so worst case scenario, if I do lose anything, I do have the original breeders still. But otherwise, in the end, we've got about, um, let me see, Ooh, whoops. We've got about, uh, what is that, like 25, 30 gigas? I, it's been a long time, so I think that should be enough. I'm gonna set them all to neutral. I'm gonna make sure I set to neutral on both sides because you gotta remember, right, I, I see people mess us up all the time in uh, King Titan Encounters. This location's huge. It's so, so big. Your whistles aren't in range of the majority of things. I see people spam whistling, getting so angry that the dancers aren't responding while they're piloting like the mega mech. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, bro. <laughs> Being in a bigger creature doesn't increase the range of your whistles. But anyway, fun fact, we harvested 100 black pearls, 21 giga hearts, 27 talons, 78 arms, and 108 hearts along this journey. But I already had a bunch of stuff in my inventory. So, ooh, here we go then. Gamma King Titan. Haven't seen you in a while. The Alpha King Titan requires 300 hearts. So actually, I actually, to be fair, I've already got pretty much everything here, obviously, except for the King Titan beta trophies. You've got to kill every Titan once each time, which means you've got to kill every other Titan three times per King Titan. So you can see how the Apex items really rack up, especially the Corrupted Hearts. But otherwise, yeah, no, I'm rambling. <sighs> oh, wait. I <laughs> just smacked the wrong key. And we're gonna get you out for the mate boost bonus. Here we go then. There he is, man. How much health does he have? 1.5 million. Look at him. Now go forth, not you. Oh well, whatever. I guess you can go as well then. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have let my character get involved. So the reason why I'm part on the character. Oh my god, the damage! The reason why I'm part of the character is because I normally pilot this on either Snow Owl, a Mana Gamera, or a, oh, that damage, or a uh, mech. I'm using a character just because I can run around more. Ooh. You know what? I've already lost my car. Oh yeah, right, obviously the character. I am really, really nervous about, oh, I am already losing King, uh, King, King Tech, Tech Gigas. I've already lost Tech Gigas. I did underestimate the damage. I also did, oh, shut up music. They are, they are rinsing him. They are doing lots of damage actually. So what I was about to say, right, is that, um, oh, there goes Faye. I'll breed, I'll breed a new one. <laughs> I can't think straight, sorry. Yeah, so like, I thought the damage on the Titan was, was uh, capped. But it looks like we're doing... Well, actually, no, it is cap. Yeah, it's got a very big, very, very big armor. But he is getting absolutely melted. I'm using my character so I can easily kill ads faster because, uh, yeah, like this over here would be better on a character than the mech because the mech's always very mixed results. Oh, there we go. That was smart thinking on my part. He's on half HP. There you go. Let's get rid of that quickly. Oh, dude, I think I made a big mistake. Oh, actually, no, 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 he's doing the attack again. We got time. Oh, yeah, there you go, interrupt the attack. <laughs> if it turns out I've screwed us up entirely, I will escape with my character quickly. There we go. Oh! Or I could, I probably could actually just hit back. I should probably just keep up the damage, actually. It's a shame I can't get its attention. Or maybe, you know what, this isn't the Becca. This is a very bad idea. Oh. Actually. 
Maybe I could get his attention. It seems like I can tank here. I've never bothered to like hit him up front before, I'm not gonna lie. But he does do a lot of damage. Oh, there goes the meat. Oh, there's one on me. Run away. I, I, there's things I want to say, but I don't want to jinx it. But I am just going to keep on fighting back. Oh, there goes one. Oh, shut up, OSD. No one asked. <laughs> keep, you know what? I'm just going to commit. I'm going to keep on fighting. I should run away. So it's back to the giant knockback. Oh, crud. Uh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. There goes my armor. There goes my ghillie. Woo. Uh, let's quickly drink that so I'm no longer burning. It's very, very close. It's very, very close. I do not deserve this kill. He's about to do a giant knockback. We're about to get flown. There it is. Oh! I got a handful of gigas left. But I'm out of stamina. But it's, you know what? I think he's focused on me. Oh, but of course I'm taking a poo. He's so close. He's so close. He's so close. But he's doing the attack again. This is perfect. He's doing the attack that allows us to like just tank loads of damage into him. The Gigas are doing very, very good damage. I'm doing maximum damage. It's done! Ooh. I'm not gonna complain! Oh, don't harvest him, you idiot! Wait, 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 wait. I nearly just died to full damage. I straight up nearly just killed myself to full damage. Can I not? Can I not taxidermy? Where's your face? Where's your hitbox? It would be around the feet, like, surely. The loot's over there. I will go for the loot. Oh, no, there he goes. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, I got half an hour. I can come back for the saddles. The saddles were very, very expensive. Um, okay, so obviously I can rebreed uh, Faye, the Evo character, and the or the Evo Giga, and the uh, male character. I can obviously rebreed all of these guys. I'm not actually fussed about that. I don't think I deserve that. <laughs> um, hold on, let's just carefully. There we go. Let's not die to full damage. Oh, I'll say that. Okay then, where's the loot? There's a loot somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. So for the loot, we got 26 uh, elements, loads of, uh, we've got some awesome oh, good gloves actually. Some nice tech blueprints, some more ammo. I did consider shooting it by the way. The thought, oh, I should definitely empty my inventory. It did occur to me to um, shoot it, but I wasn't sure if I can manage to shoot it, if you know what I mean. There we go. I'm pretty sure they did fix this bug, but I'll do it anyway just in case. Yeah, it did occur to me to actually shoot the titan itself, but uh, I didn't want to risk dismounting and get like a weak creature. I do prefer the mobility of the character. Again, this is why I use that instead of a mech, because mechs I find to be very janky and clunky. This is my first time doing it without a mech. Right. And here's that lovely blinding ascension. Damn, that was such a messy kill. To be fair though, uh, normally whenever I've done Titan in the past, um, I'd have like a hundred gigas. This time I went like 25, 30 and totally forgot about the raid damage. Um, there's obviously, you know, the Evo gigas have got tons of health, but my tech gigas, they're regular, they've only got about like 30, 35, 40k health. So when I saw the King Titan do 10k hits, yeah, it's only a matter of time. But they persisted. My god, did they persist? I'm really surprised. I'm really, really chuffed. This is such a cool cinematic. And there's Helena. Oh. Yeah, the voices are muted. Absolutely beautiful. Go on, take a look. It's finally begun. The arcs are coming home. Each one carries with it the seeds of new life at plants, animals, and humans, and these seeds will take roots across the far corners of the world. Uh, seeing all this for the first time, like realizing that Ark really is bigger than just the Arcs, that it's the entire Earth. Once they'll all be released, 
From there it will spread, grow and thrive on this planet. Our home will bloom once more. As for the rest of the infection, well, the Ox can take it from here. That's a bit bloom heavy, isn't it? I like how you can, you can see like both day and night. And there we go, the entire arc has just landed. In time, they'll purge every last bit of element from the soil. But make no mistake. This is all thanks to you. I'm just glad I got to see it. Huh, look at that. Sun's rising. I was always so disappointed that in Genesis 1 we didn't get to see the Earth after. I really hope, so they did, a, they did say that with Ascended they'll be releasing at least one new canon DLC map, story based map, and I really do hope it explores the Earth. Right then, that is my Ascension completed. I'm gonna go quickly rush over and get my saddles. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, I left a bunch of creatures here, so I can go there quickly. Look at that! Your Homo Deus record, Alpha Ascension, oh yeah, on all the other things. There we go, Gamma King Titan, and now other people are about to join the server, probably in half an hour as of recording this. <laughs> They're eager! That means that I can definitely jump into doing this with a group and doing King Titan sooner or later, but not just yet, we'll, we'll have some fun first. Um, some people are like, ready to rush in, others are ready to take their time and do it from scratch. Some people have never seen this map before, so it's going to be fantastic. Right, thank you so much. It's been fantastic, guys. You all take care, you have a fantastic day, and as always, I'll see you all again next time. Cheers.